Hey everybody, today is the day the factory stereo leaves this car. I'm just waiting on the mounting bracket, which is hopefully supposed to be in today's mail, but I have everything else. There's the new stereo. Not a terribly expensive stereo. About uh, 70 bucks on eBay, but it's got Bluetooth streaming, and most importantly, you can change the colors because that's important because I want this color of the stereo to be green like the car. So I've already got the, um, you know, the wiring uh, pigtails so I can hopefully just plug it right in. But the only thing I'm waiting for is the actual mounting bracket. So tracking says it should be here today, but I can go ahead and get this thing torn apart and uh, get ready for it. Stay tuned. All right, slight change of plans. I'm going to... I'm going to take this carpet out right now. I'm going to clean it and paint it because tomorrow it's got to come out anyway because tomorrow I'm replacing the top. So I'll go ahead and do that while I'm waiting for the bracket to arrive, which is probably going to be several hours yet. So this I'll get done. That way it'll be clean, dry, and ready to go back in tomorrow. Here's the back carpet removed. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it and... Uh, give it a coat of black fabric paint and that's going to look much better. Meanwhile, inside of there doesn't look too bad. Um, a little dirty. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to vacuum it and wipe off all the metal. You can see where perhaps uh, some water has been sitting over the years. Uh, it's not rusted or anything, but just really dirty. So I got uh, a new top and I also got a new rain rail. Um, mostly you don't need the new rain rail, but this one, it looked like there was signs that it might been leaking over on the other side. So I got one just to be safe. I may or may not use it, but I don't know how old this, uh, the rain rail is. I know this top has been replaced. Um, the top's probably 10 years old. I don't know. Just guessing on that, but after tomorrow it'll be new. So I'm going to go ahead and get that vacuumed and uh, find the paint for it. Okay, time to give this thing a shot. Looks a lot better as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this thing. I'll show you when it's done. Well, this thing is done and it looks really good. And just in case you're curious, this is the paint I used. This regular old flat black, but it's good for plastic. And this carpet's plastic. And this stuff is cheap, works well, happy with the result. Going to let it dry in the sun. Well, I was cleaning out the back of the Miata. I just wanted to show this. Somebody's shopping list from who knows how long ago. I found that. And I found a dime so far. So I'm actually making money on this deal. I decided to go ahead and paint this, uh, this Jack Frank. It's blue. And I was able to find, it's darker blue unfortunately, but it's going to look a lot better. Um, I thought I had some of this lighter blue, but I guess I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this and let it dry. It's all about the little details. It's taken over. I took out this black panel. I'm going to clean it and paint it. And I wasn't able to get back there last time. So you can see back here it looks really good, all nice and clean. But back there, I'm going to wipe that out too. So the whole trunk will be clean. No more 27 years worth of crap. Trunk is now all done. Got that panel painted. Got the jack uh, handle all painted, put back in. I even painted the bolts. Painted that center retainer. Uh, a couple stains on this vinyl thing, nothing I can really do. Uh, unless I want to take that off and paint it. So, But everything looks really good trunk is nice and clean. So now, on to the stereo. I got the stereo install kit. It's a Metra. I got it on eBay. And all these options right here. I uh, just want to say that I originally priced all this stuff out at Crutchfield. And uh, let's see, we got the stereo, the bracket, the uh, antenna extension 
and these pigtails here. And buying everything separately on eBay was, believe it or not, quite a bit less. So Crutchfield's great, uh, nice customer service, but if you're just trying to save money, you know, and you don't mind getting everything from separate sources, why not do it yourself? It's all the same exact part numbers and everything. So it ended up costing me probably about 30 bucks less altogether. Can't complain about that. All right, the factory stereo is out. And I just wanna, I wanna make it clear, this is not actually a how-to video. There are plenty of those online. This is just to kind of follow my video, or follow my process video. So, got the factory wiring harnesses here. And the previous owner installed some sort of uh, aux jack. I'm gonna remove all that, because uh, I don't need it with the new stereo. So, everything's all wired up. I'm just gonna clean all this up and uh, figure out the bracket and uh, install this. Those of you that know me already know that I can't take something apart and not clean behind it. So I've already vacuumed all this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get a wet rag and clean all this. Um, that includes all that crud that's stuck between there. Now's the time to do it. And uh, just part of my OCD, I guess. I notice this one clip is broken off. You can see it's supposed to have one of those metal retainers. It's missing on the upper left hand corner. I hope that's not going to be a problem. Um, if it is, I'll have to figure something out. But I got all that, uh, that uh, RF uh, converter business out of there. And uh, as far as I know, that does work. It allows you to basically plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack and it allows it to run through channel 88.3 so I have that if let's see what did I do with it um, oh here it is over here if anybody in the San Diego area is interested in this you are welcome to have it um, looks like it's all here as far as I know um, it does work so if interested let me know I'll hold on to it and here it is installed. Took me probably close to two hours, only because I wanted this stereo to sit flush inside this mounting bracket, and that required some extra cutting and uh, bending and all kind of stuff. Um, as far as the looks go, it's okay. Definitely not, uh, in my opinion, as nice looking as the factory, but the factory stereo is just completely obsolete. Only the radio worked, and barely at that. The stereo would only seemed to turn on about half the time, so... This is definitely, uh... Definitely better. Um, got the color set to green. And I've got the Bluetooth set on it. Uh, right now the radio is going just barely low. Um, but everything's back in, and, uh... That's going to do it for the radio, so on to the next project. And the work continues. I taped off and sprayed the heads of those uh, seatbelt anchors. Those are drying. You can see how badly the seatbelt is faded right here. I've got some fabric paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint that. I've got that one over there done already. Looks a lot better. You can see the cutoff. So I'll go ahead and spray this and show you when it's done. All right, these are done and drying. As you can see, they look a lot better. And this is what I use, this Duplicolor vinyl and fabric. Had this left over from when I painted the interior of the Wrangler. And this should be completely safe on this webbing of these seat belts. The only thing you can't use is anything uh, oil-based or uh, petroleum-based because it degrades the actual webbing. So this should be fine. Little differences make all the difference in the world. Once those are done, you can still uh, they're still wet. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the press buttons red. I want to do something with this gap in the glove box. I think I'm gonna get some uh, black foam and just kind of. Uh, 
like weather stripping type foam and, and stick it to the top of the glove box inside so that it closes up the gap. Glove box works fine, just has that typical sag in it or droop, whatever you want to call it. Just continuing to tinker on the Miata, I'm going to take these latches off and clean them and repaint them. I've already got that side off. As you can see, I finished the seat belts. I think they turned out pretty nice. Of course, I managed to uh, brush up against that one over there, so I'll put a smudge in with my shirt, but I guess I'll fix that. Anyway, um, let's see what else. Uh, that's about it. Just pull those off, clean them up, paint them. If it weren't for the fact that I need to park this outside tonight, I would just actually take the top off. But I'd rather have this outside than the Jeep. And I'm not leaving the GTR out, so... I'll finish it up tomorrow. Anyway, I think that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, come on! Damn it! Oh, that sounds good.